Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey, and it is Wednesday morning. I have just left my hotel on my way to my first meeting. Last night, obviously had some technical issues with the microphone, so what I did was I found a little packet of my business cards that had a rubber band around it, so I rubber banded the microphone to the top handle. I mean, it'll do for now until I can get home and get that freaking part on there correctly. And I perhaps at this point should use some Loctite so it doesn't come off. All right, I'm here. So let's go have a meeting and then we'll see what happens with filming. All right, that was a delicious breakfast. So now I've got a three hour drive to get to my next meeting. I will say that yesterday was a bit of a challenge because of getting to the hotel so late and trying to throw that video together, you know, at the last minute, not the least of which of my problems was the fact that hotel Wi-Fi sucks. It, it's just awful doing these videos on the road. Thank Zeus I only got to do them once because that sucks. And I, and I wish that I had some kind of device that I could take with me, you know, like traveling internet. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, great. I can use a hotspot and all that kind of stuff, but that doesn't mean it's any better especially given the fact that uh, a lot of the places that I go have shit signal. But all right, so I'm going to be driving now for three hours. And I, I don't know, I started an audio book yesterday, but I didn't listen to a word of it. So I need to restart it. But for now, I, I have other shit that I'm going to do whilst I'm driving. So we'll figure that out. But for now, that's it. Okay, kids, not exactly sure why wasn't really paying all that much attention, but the app is taking me to my next meeting in a very backwards ass, different way. I am on some curvy backcountry roads, which sucks because I hate this shit. Interesting thing happened. When I hit the favorite on this Waze app to take me to my next meeting, I swear to Zeus that I hit the name of the, the right place of where I was going. Sadly, that's not where I was taken. I was very confused and I thought to myself, I did not spend that much time eating breakfast for it to now make me so late for my next meeting. And I just, it, it, the thought never occurred to me that there was an issue other than I guess I just took too much time eating breakfast. When it took me off the highway where it did, I was like, okay, there must have been a problem, accidents, construction, whatever. It's, it's not like I'm anywhere near the tunnel though. So that, you know, I normally say I'm not getting off the highway when it tries to get me off the highway for this tunnel bullshit. Okay, so the bottom line is, is that it took me to a city an hour away from where I needed to be. Then it all started to make sense why all of a sudden, instead of being an hour and a half early, I was 10 minutes late for my meeting. So at that point now, it was gonna take me over an hour to get back to where I needed to be. So I just canceled the, the meetings that I had for the rest of the day because there was no way that I was gonna get there, you know, before it was just too late to have the meeting. So I called those particular dealers and, and you know, that's all taken care of. In the meantime, I went back into the Waze app to see if I just like thick fingered it, giggity, and hit, the, like the one below it or whatever. And when I looked at the favorites, where it sent me was nowhere near the, in, in the hierarchy of my favorites that I cannot explain why it sent me where it sent me. That kind of freaks me out because it's like, well, what the shit? What happens if I do that again? And it sends me, you, you know, someplace completely wonky. So yeah, I've been just driving home since then because I was like, screw it, I'm just going home. I can't deal with that shit. And um, I'm in the tunnel now, obviously, if you couldn't tell. And I have been sitting in, in nearly unmoving traffic for quite some time, which sucks. So here I am now. I'm uh, 34 minutes, 26 miles away from home. But that's if I were to stay here on the highway which I'm not. I'm immediately turning off the highway as soon as I can once I get through the tunnel. But yeah, it's been a hell of a day. So I am not going to do a wrap up when I get home and all that kind of crap. I mean, you get the gist. It's been a long ass day. I've been driving all damn day and it's annoying and I'm ready to be the hell out of this forerunner. So that's all you get for today. 
no grand words of wisdom, no gear reviews or anything like that. Just me pitching and moaning about being in my Forerunner all day. <laughs> and my headache did never go away, by the way. So there's that too. But that's okay. I'm alive. It's gorgeous out. Things are moving right along. Forward and a smidge up. But that up us up. All right. So that's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.